guest. A woman came out of her house and saw the three old men with a long white beard sitting in her front yard. She did not recognize them, so she approached them and said, I don't think I know you, but you must be hungry. Please come in and have something to eat. Is, is the man of the house inside? They asked. No, she, she replied. He is out. Then he cannot come in. In the evening, when her husband came home, she told him what had happened. Go tell them I am home. Invite them in, instructed the man. When the woman invited the men, they said, We do not go into a house together. Why is that? she asked. One of the old men explained, His name is Well. He said, pointing to one of his friends, The other man's name is Success. He said, pointing to the other man, then added, My name is Love. Now go in and discuss with your husband which one of us you want in your home. The woman went in and told her husband what was said. Her husband was overjoyed. How nice, he said. Since that is the case, let us invite Well. His wife disagreed. My dear wife, don't we invite success? Their daughter-in-law was listening from the corner of the house. She, she, uh, she, she jumped in with her home with her own suggestion would it not be better to invite love our home will then be filled with love that us heed our daughter in law advice said the husband to his wife go out and invite love to be our guest the woman went out and asked the three old men which one of you is love please come in and be our guest the old man named love got up and started walking to to uh, towards the house the other two also got up and followed him surprised the woman asked well and success i thought you said that you do not go into a house together i only invited love Where are you coming into? Love explained for wealth and success. He said, if you had invited wealth or success, the other two of us would have stayed out. But since you invited me, we all go. You see, wealth and success go wherever love goes. Wherever there is love, there is also wealth and success. The Three Guests in the title, The Three Guests, the reader omitted the s sound from the word guest. A woman came out of her house and saw the three old men with a long white beard sitting in her front yard. She did not recognize them, so she approached them and said, I don't think I know you, but you must be hungry. Please come in and have something to eat. In the first paragraph, the reader inserted the article Z before the word three, article A before the word long, mispronounced the word recognize as recognize, and omitted the end syllable of the word approached. Is, is the man of the house inside? They asked. No, she, she replied. He is out. Then he cannot come in. In the evening, when her husband came home, she told him what had happened. Go tell them I am home. Invite them in. Instructed the man. In this conversation, the reader repeated the word is twice as well as the word she. The reader omitted the word and from the line, go tell them I am home and invite them in. When the woman invited the men, they said, We do not go into a house together. Why is that? She asked. One of the old men explained, His name is Well. He said, pointing to one of his friends, The other man named is Success. He said, pointing to the other man, then added, My name is Love. Now go in and discuss with your husband which one of us you want in your home. 
In this paragraph, the reader omitted the s sound from the possessive noun mens, omitted the word he, and omitted the end syllable of the word husband. The woman went in and told her husband what was said. Her husband was overjoyed. How nice, he said. Since that is the case, let us invite wealth. His wife disagreed. My dear wife, don't we invite success? Their daughter-in-law was listening from the corner of the house. She, she, uh, she, she jumped in with her, home, with her own suggestion. Would it not be better to invite love? Our home will then be filled with love. In this sentence, the reader omitted the end syllable of the word disagreed. In the second sentence of this paragraph, the reader abandoned the correct pronunciation of the word she to see, but successfully corrected herself when she repeated the word as she. She also successfully corrected herself when she misread the word own to hone and read it again as own. Let us heed our daughter-in-law advice, said the husband to his wife. Go out and invite love to be our guest. The woman went out and asked the three old men which one of you is love. Please come in and be our guest. The old man named love got up and started walking to toward, uh, towards the house. The other two also got up and followed him. The reader omitted the s sound from the possessive noun mother-in-laws. In this sentence, the reader successfully corrected herself when she misread the word towards as tower and then repeated it as towards. Surprise, the woman asked wealth and success. I thought you said that you do not go into a house together i only invited love what are you coming into love explained for wealth and success he said if you had invited wealth or success the other two of us would have stayed out but since you invited me we all go you see wealth and success go wherever love goes wherever there is love there is also wealth and success in the last sentence of the last paragraph, the reader inserted s sound in the word also, reading it as also's.